Hey peoples, and welcome to another Zenith update. I just thought it was about time to just let you know what's going on. This one is unscripted, so I'm just going to kind of waffle on about stuff, and I'll probably cut some bits out where I tend to waffle on, like I'm doing right now. So in the background, I don't have any new footage to, to put up or anything, so this is just um, a clip of me playing Sleeping Dogs. I played it on stream one random night, and I really like this section. This reminded me of the... Uh, the gunfight in Hard Boiled, which is uh, one of my all-time favourite action movies. But anyway, let's get on with the update. So, Zenith Films Play seems to be doing exactly what it is that I wanted it to do, which is raise my watch time. There are a lot of videos going up from gameplays. I'm streaming Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday, but I sometimes randomly stream on other nights as well if I've got some spare time. And so far, I've got a small community of people over on Twitch, which is nice. And the videos that I'm archiving on YouTube, we're getting, you know, between 12 and 50 views per video. And that's great because you're looking at, a, you know, an average of around 12 to 50 hours worth of watch time, which is exactly the reason why I'm doing it. Just trying to raise that watch time, get YouTube to remonetize my channel again, but we'll see. The, uh, but Centerfilms Plays was step one. Step two, is Zen of Films Reviews. Now, I haven't actually started writing them yet. I'm still trying to work out what my top 10 all-time favorite films are. I know most of them, it's just some of them, and they are gonna be the 10 films that I review. But I do know what the first Zen of Films Review is gonna be, and that's gonna be the 1992 director's cut of Blade Runner, because that is my all-time favorite movie. That version specifically, and uh, I'll go into details why when we start doing the review. I hope to start doing them, I'm going to say summer, but that's not a hard date. And you know, summer is rapidly approaching. Patreon is doing really well for Zenith Films. We are now raising $101 per month from our patrons. That, in English money, equates to around 70 to 80 pounds, which is what I pay an actor per day. So each month, I get enough money to pay Olwyn to do another day's filming. That is amazing. I never expected to raise $10, let alone $100. And yeah, I know the goal on Patreon is $1,000, but when I was doing the whole Patreon thing, they were like, well, put what it is you want. What's, what is that goal? And I was like, well, the goal is 1000 bucks. I mean, with 1000 bucks, I don't have to worry about anything anymore. But whether we're going to get there or not, I'm... I don't know, maybe, I mean, in just a few months we've got 10% of that goal, so who knows. I've uh, updated the tiers, now there's a dollar tier as well as, you know, $10, $25 and $50. Uh, I was just thinking, you know, $10 might be a lot for a lot of people who really want to help Zenith Films, but, you know, $10 a month is a bit much, so that's why I made the, the dollar tier. So you can go check out those tiers over on Patreon, there will be a link or a card about now. So what I'm currently working on right now is the DVD slash Blu-ray extras for Silent Hill Requiem. I have just finished the first, say, work in progress draft of the making of featurette. It's running for about 40 minutes. I've showed it to my team, to my friends and to my family, and I've been given quite a lot of feedback on it. Some good, some constructive. And uh, so now I'm just going to go and apply that feedback to it. And I hope that by the end of the week, the featurette of the making of Silent Hill Requiem will be done. Then um, I need to do deleted scene. There is one long deleted scene from the film. Now, I'm in two minds about how to actually go with it. Am I going to just cut the green screen footage together and just leave it as is? Or am I going to go that extra step and key it and put it in the right environment and make it look like it is part of the film? That is pretty much what I would want to do, because that's what I'm like. I always like to go that extra mile, but at the same time, it's going to take more time. So, depending on how long it takes me to get this making of featurette finished will determine which road I go down with this deleted scene. Then I'm just going to go through all the shots I've got of everyone and just find as much behind the scenes stuff as I've got. We didn't film a lot of behind the scenes stuff because I only had one camera, I only had one memory card, so I only ever pressed record when I knew that we needed to capture something. So I never left the camera running, you know, so there's not 
a huge amount of behind the scenes content, but there's some, I remember some. So uh, I'm gonna have to go through that and find all that, and then just kind of, I'm just gonna make a collage, you know, there you go, there's your little collage video of all the behind the scenes stuff. Um, then I'm just gonna add on the proof of concept and uh, I want to recut the thank you video just because the thank you video features Olwyn singing but all of the shots from the film are actually from the proof of concept so that's actually Della as Cheryl not Olwyn so I want to just re-edit that so it's more concise as it is which is just basically going in there and just chopping out all the proof of concept footage and just slapping in all the actual footage from the final film. I've done all of the menus they look like the inventory screen from Silent Hill 2 and I'm just hoping that when I put them into the DVD maker that I use that they uh, they animate as close to how the inventory screen you know animates in the game and then once that's done it's then just compiling it all together and then I've got to do two separate versions you see because I was hoping thanks to the HD revolution that TV standards wouldn't be a thing anymore but uh, apparently they still are and that means that I've got to make a PAL version of the DVDs and the Blu-rays for most of the world and then I have to make an NTSC one for America. Now that's fine, I'm just hoping that when I encode it through my DVD maker it does the work for me. Then I know one of my producers on Patreon comes from America but is currently living in England, he doesn't live that far away from me actually, and he has an American DVD player, so I can test the NTSC's DVDs with him, then just comes how am I gonna test the Blu-rays. Now hopefully he might know some other American friends in England that have a Blu-ray, but if not, I've got some friends in America that I could just send them the ISO of the Blu-ray and they can burn it and test it for me. But then that will be that. Then it's just burning the DVDs, buying the boxes, printing up the inlays, and then mailing, mailing, mailing. Then there was a few other bits. Um, part of the, one of the perks was you get a storyboard of the film, so I need to, so I just need to go over the storyboards to kind of darken them up a bit because uh, it's all in pencil. Then I'm gonna get them printed up with Lulu or something and then get them sent off. And then some people also are getting signed exclusive posters, so I need to do that. And then once I've done all that, that's it. That Silent Hill Requiem finally put to bed. So hopefully that's going to be this summer. <laughs> so just continuing talking about Silent Hill. In regards to Silent Hill Lazarus, we're still raising money. We're still, you know, donations are coming in slowly but surely. You know, people are wanting to see Requiem and then any donation they give to Requiem goes into the Silent Hill Lazarus budget. So far we've got about a third of what we were trying to raise when we did the Indiegogo back in February. So, you know, we're getting there. So what I have decided to do is that I have postponed all filming, filming of any, any new projects until summer next year. Because that's twofold. Firstly, it allows us to raise more money so we can get more money for the Sign of Lazarus budget. So we'll push that into summer next year. Also, I've got such a massive backlog of films I need to cut. Now when I started Zen of Films, I just filmed. Filmed and filmed and filmed and filmed and filmed. I thought, right, we'll just keep filming stuff, you know, because I'm doing it on green screen, so I can just film actors kind of haphazardly, and then I'll have all of this footage that I can then do. So when there's some downtime, I've got something to edit. But then when Silent Hill Requiem got funded, there hasn't been any downtime for the last three years. The feature length version of episode needs to get put together. It's all ready to go. I mean, I was actually editing it before Silent Hill Requiem got funded, but then when that got funded, it got put to the sidelines. So I need to put that together and that'll be one of my next feature films. And then five short films I need to sort out. Um, that'd be the proof of concept for TLE. Uh, the Proof of concept, well, I say proof of concept, they're all short films, but they can also be used as proof of concepts if I want to then use them to crowdfund, to make them either into a series or into a feature. So yeah, so there's one for TLE, there's one for Syndicate Wars, there's one for Parasite Eve, there's one for Resident Evil, and we also have Helsing. Now Helsing was filmed as a web series, five part web series. But I'm currently in two minds about whether to make it a web series or to turn it into a graphic novel. Now, I've always wanted to make a graphic novel. I just haven't had, you know, the time. And, you know, 
draw I'm good at drawing but I don't think I'm good enough to draw an entire graphic novel but the way I've envisaged Helsing is like a graphic novel so I'm thinking that might be cool to rather than just make it into another web series is to make it into a standalone graphic novel that I could then sell on my store I mean, because I've already wrote a book. I wrote my first book when I was traveling Thailand, uh, Constellation Gemini. It's uh, kind of a sci-fi fantasy story about the last day of Atlantis. But my version of Atlantis is that they were far more technically advanced than we are now. So it's, so it's pretty crazy. It's one of three books I'd like to write in my lifetime. But then I'd also like to have a graphic novel. So, and then I could then make like a digital graphic novel version of it to use as like a, like a trailer to sell the graphic novel. But well, I'll see how I feel when I actually get round to getting back to Helsing. I also need to cut Splatterhouse Jennifer Smells of Rock. That's all ready to go, so I'm thinking once the DVD for Sign of Requiem is done, I'm then going to cut the short films, which is TLE, Parasite Eve, Resident Evil, and um, Syndicate Wars, <laughs> and then straight on to Splatterhouse Jennifer Smells of Rock, so then that's all that done and then that should hopefully take me through to next summer when we'll I'll then know how much budget I've got for Silent Hill Lazarus and then we film Silent Hill Lazarus, film uh, TLE and then the short films for Syndicate Wars, Parasite Eve, Resident Evil etc. I'll probably sit on them because I want to use them for crowdfunding because I would like to turn them into larger projects but there's no point crowdfunding something while I'm crowdfunding something else. So once the crowdfunding has ended for Silent Hill Lazarus, which will be next summer, we'll film that and then I will release them, you know, staggered and see if we can crowdfund them, you know, one, one a year, so to speak. And that'd be cool. I mean, the Resident Evil I'm not too sure about because I know that there's, a, there's currently a reboot in the works for Resident Evil movies, so that might be something I'll need to hold off on if I want to use it as a proof of concept, of course. And then um, next year we're also going to be filming our proof of concepts for Tomb Raider and for Carmen San Diego as well. But again, that's all next year. And again, I'm kind of sitting on the Tomb Raider thing because we've just had a Tomb Raider film come out. But apparently it didn't do very well and if they're... I read somewhere that they're thinking about making a sequel but they're not going to make it with... Is it Alicia? This time. And I was like, okay. So they're blaming her for why the film didn't sell. Fair enough. You know, she's just an actress. She just does what she's told. Why you would, you know, uh, whatever. A debate for another time, I guess. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so that's why I sat on my Tomb Raider thing. But we're going to film that next year because by next year, I think we'll know whether there's going to be another studio Tomb Raider or not. Might be. There's a new game coming, so we'll have to see. But that's the goal. Get Silent Hill Requiem all done by summer. Get it out of my hair. <laughs> So I never need to worry about it again. And then it's just edit all of the stuff that's been sitting on the shelf for years. You know, patiently sitting on the shelf waiting. And then come next summer, bosh, we start filming again. So I'll probably do another one of these updates probably in a month's time or something. Just to let you know how things are going. And where I am with my <laughs> plan, shall we say. But as they always say, best laid plans. Okay guys, well I hope you're having a lovely week, a lovely day or a lovely weekend whenever you're watching this. And um, I hope to see you on my social media outlets, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And uh, please come by and join us for Twitch. I've got a lovely little gang of people that turn up on a regular basis. And they're always chatting about something in the chat. And it's always fun and I always try to play different games all the time. Games that interest me. And before we finish this update, I'd just like to thank my current Patreons over on Patreon. Andrew Key, Sylvia Garcia, Jason S. Perry, Everything Horror Podcast, Janny Newman N, Amy Ballot. And that brings this update to a close. I hope this finds you well, wherever you are, doing whatever you're doing. Thanks for listening, and welcome to the world of Zenith Films. <laughs>